If in Excel I want to type on multiple lines in the same cell and having a word background, so when I hit enter, I just move to the cell below it. That's not what I want. And what if I already have text in multiple lines in Excel and I want to fix it? I'm Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I show you how to enter text on multiple lines in the same cell and how to separate each line into a different column to be able to analyze and summarize your data. So let's see how we do that in Excel. Here is my start file. You can download the exercise file and follow along by clicking on the link below this video. In this worksheet, I have in column A some client information. For each client, I have the client name, a full address, and a phone number. But each piece of information is on a separate line in the same exact cell. We want to learn how to enter information on multiple lines in a cell. And if we do have a situation like that, how can I split this information into multiple columns? So I'm going to select cell A1 and I'll be entering my information. When I start typing on a second line, I want you to keep an eye on this command because something will change automatically. So I'm going to type my name, let's say Nabil Murad, and to add a second line in the same cell, I hit Alt, Enter, Alt, Enter. And when I do that, I'm going to type on a second line. Let's say I want to add one more line, Alt, Enter, one more line, and finally one more Alt, Enter to add one last line a phone number. And when I hit enter, the text is in multiple lines. And look what happened to this command, wrap text. That means I have text on multiple lines. When you select any cell and look at the formula bar, you just see the first line. So you might be missing the other lines. If you want to see the other lines, you have to hover over the lower border of the formula bar. When the mouse pointer changes to a double-headed arrow, you can click and drag, and now you can see the different lines. You can drag it up, or you can simply click on the up pointing arrow in the upper right corner of the formula bar. Now that we have a situation like that, when I have text into multiple lines, it's impossible to analyze this text in its current status. I need to separate each piece of information into a separate column. And that's a little bit challenging. How can I split at the break from one line to the other line? And we'll be learning how to do that with a very simple shortcut. I'm going to select this entire column. I'm going to select the records. And then I go up at the top to the data tab of the ribbon. And on the data tab of the ribbon, I select the command text to column. And when I click on text to column, where do you want to split your text? It's a delimited text. There is a break. There is a new line at the beginning of each piece of information. This is where I want to apply the break. So when I hit next, it asks me about that delimiter. Is it any one of these? Definitely not. So if I check the box other and take the check away from tab and then in the other box I'll be typing control J and when I do that it immediately splits the text in the preview box at the beginning of each line. That's all what I need to do when I click on next. Now I need to specify where I want to dump this data. So I'm selecting the destination. I select cell B1 and here I'll be inserting my data. And when I click finish, look at that. I was able to separate the information into multiple columns. We need to clean it up a little bit. So I want to delete column A. I don't need it anymore for now. I can right click and delete, but much easier, I hit Control and the minus sign on the numeric keypad, Control minus, deletes this column. I want to insert a row on top of row number one to add some labels. I select row number one and hit Control plus to insert a row on top of the selected row. Now I'll be adding some label. I'll be typing name, and then I hit Tab. I'll be typing address, and I hit Tab. I'll be typing city, tab, postal code, tab, province, tab, phone. If you want to apply some formatting for the phone number, then I'm going to expand this column a little bit. I can select all the columns and then double click on the border of the last one. This is called the best fit. 
and what I would like to do is to format these numbers. I'm going to format these numbers. Never in Excel waste your time typing an opening bracket, a closing bracket, a space, a three digits, and a dash. That's a waste of time. I select the phone column, and then I hit Control-1, the Format Cell dialog box, and in the Format Cell, I go down to the Special category. We have Phone Number, where I select Phone Number, and then I hit OK then all the phone numbers. We started from a totally messed up list and now we have each piece of information in a separate column. If you enjoyed this training video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and ring the bell to be notified when new tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thank you for watching and see you next time.